Hi, I'm Annalise, and today I'll show you how to make a cated craft out of a few simple materials. Here's an example of the cateds we're going to make today. In terms of materials, you only need a few simple things. For example, here's what you'll need. You'll need one green marker, a clothespin, one green pipe cleaner which we'll cut in half to make two pipe cleaners of the same length two small red pipe cleaner fragments that each about half inch, rhinestone stickers, and wet glue, which isn't pictured right now. The first step we're going to do is take our clothespin. Um, it should be just a normal clothespin. You can use any kind around the house at all. And we're going to take a green marker. You should use a green marker that works and it, um, goes on to the um, clothespin very well. We're going to color the entire clothespin with this green marker, the entire clothespin, all of it. Next, we're going to make the eyes of the Kaden. So here we have our clothespin, which is colored green. Next, we're going to take the rhinestone stickers. Even though they're stickers, um, the backing on them tends not to be that great, so we're going to reinforce it with some white glue. Right now, I'm rubbing the white glue on the very top of the clothespin. After that, stick the rhinestones onto the place it glued and hold them for a bit. It'll take a bit for them to dry, so I'll wait a few minutes after putting them on. After that, we're going to add the legs to the Kated, which is pretty much the best part. So after you've colored your Kated and stuck the rhinestones on for the eyes, you're going to put, take one of your green um, pipe cleaners and stick it through the big circle that's in the, uh, that's in the um, clothespin. Your clothespin should come with a circle, which is part of the spring that helps the clothespin close and open. Next, we're going to bend the legs of the kitty did so they look like actual hind legs of the kitty did. So that involves usually bending it in half a little bit on either side. And then making little feet.
After this, we're going to add the front legs, and that goes in the part where your clothespin clamps down. So, right here, where I'm going to place it. After that, you fold them the way you folded the back legs. Just the same, you're going to fold the little feet, just so it looks better that way. And then make sure it can stand, because that's always an important part. Next, we're going to add the ears of the kitty did. The ears of the katydid are interesting in the fact that katydids have actual ears that are visible on their legs instead of their heads. So what we're going to do is take your very small um, half inch pipe cleaner that's red and wrap it around right below the knee on the four legs of the katydid. And then once you do that, you're totally done. Like you saw in the video, we put little ears on the legs of our katydid. Katydids use these special ears to hear noises made by other katydids, specifically sounds they make to attract mates and communicate. Grasshoppers, crickets, and katydids are all related, meaning they all make music to attract mates and communicate with each other. Katydids use their wings to make small, shrill chirps, a bit longer and higher in pitch than a cricket chirp. Also, like grasshoppers and crickets, katydids have incredibly long hind legs that they use to jump long distances with. Thanks for watching.